Steam Verify is a process we can use to make sure your files are correctly updated. This means your Fallout 4 will be updated to the latest version. This can also restore your game files faster than reinstalling the game. If you tried to prevent Steam from updating your game, you might have made the Fallout 4 assignment and configuration file read-only. We'll need to make it readable again. This file is also known as the app manifest. Open your Steam, right-click Fallout 4, click Manage, Browse Local Files, then click Steam Apps. Fallout 4's app ID is 377.160. So right-click this .acf file, choose Properties, and in the General tab, uncheck Read Only. Hit Apply and OK. Lastly, make sure all your DLCs are ticked. Hyra's DLC is completely optional. Vortex Modders, purge your mods. And after you do that, make sure your Fallout 4 slash data folder is clear of loose files. I show how to purge your mods and here's what you need to know before downgrading your Fallout 4. Now we're ready to Steam Verify. Open your Steam, right click Fallout 4, go to Properties, Installed Files, and click Verify Integrity of Steam Files. Or to ensure your Fallout 4 works, I recommend deleting everything but the data folder. But if you have EMB and any other executables and DLLs in your main folder that you would like to keep, then delete only the Fallout4.exe, Fallout4Launcher.exe, and SteamAPI.dll, then click Steam Verify. There's still a chance that your game might not work if you don't choose the latter option. And you can choose not to delete every file, you can choose to delete certain files in your Fallout 4 folder that you believe to be corrupted, or choose not to delete anything at all. I suggest deleting the files for a fresh and working game. Let it run the verification process. If you get this error, files fail to validate, Steam will acquire these files again, automatically or when you launch Fallout 4. Once that is done downloading, you can go back and make the .acf slash app manifest file read only by right clicking it, properties, and check read only. Hit apply and OK. When you press play, the launcher will load. If it doesn't load, make a new modding profile or disable all your mods and delete your configuration files, your .ini's. I showed us and here's what you need to know before downgrading your Fallout 4. And when you press play, your game should load. If it doesn't, I recommend uninstalling Fallout 4 and deleting your INI files for a fresh reinstall. Cheers to a working game and now you're ready for downgrading.